Hello everyone and welcome to my new channel. So this channel is really going to be revolving around, mostly around fitness. Uh, I'd like to give you guys as many tips and bits of advice as I can to help you guys progress and hopefully achieve your fitness goals, whatever that may be. Um, I'm going to vlog a little bit more about my everyday life as well, a bit about uh, fashion uh, and film as well, two massive interests of mine. So I'll share my thoughts um, on those subjects as well. So I'm about to head to the gym any second now. So I'll probably pick it up with you guys there very shortly. But I'll just before I go, I thought I'd uh, show you what I'm wearing for today. So my outfit of the day for the gym is, well, I want to keep it obviously as stylish as possible, as uh, stylish as possible, um, wherever I'm going, whether that's at home, at work, wherever. So I'm heading to the gym, but I want to still keep it reasonably sort of stylish, but functional at the same time. So first of all, I've got a Death by Zero vest on, oversized, printed, really like that. Just a plain basic grey hoodie on, on top. It's still freezing outside, so I'm layering up. So I've got the uh, black uh, quilted biker from All Saints on over the top of that. On my lower half, I'm going to be hitting uh, legs today. So I've got on my leggings, your spandex leggings, want as much maneuverability as possible uh, when hitting legs. Uh, and then on my feet, I've got on my Nike Lunalons. So they're very, very similar to the Converse Chuck Taylor. Uh, which are obviously a lot of powerlifters swear by, you know, because you want to have the, the flattest base possible uh, when working your legs because you want to just be as stable as possible. And if you wear something like, like an Air Max or something like that, it's got uh, a bit of a platform. You're not necessarily quite as stable when, you, when you're squatting or uh, deadlifting. So they're brilliant. I, use, I wear them all the time when I, hit, uh, when I hit legs. So anyway, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm wearing. So I'll pick it up with you guys very shortly. All right, guys, so I'm just walking to the gym now. Um, I actually live in Watford Football Stadium, you see here. It's getting quite quite busy, and um, there's a game on later, I believe, Watford are playing Aston Villa. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just walking to the gym now. Uh, sorry about the clarity, the sun's behind me, so it doesn't look particularly great. But I just want to share with you guys um, basically what my fitness goals are at the moment, the way I've been training in the past. Um, so, for the last five years, I have, well, I've been training for about five or six years now. And uh, it's always been physique related. It's always been um, to do with how I look. Whereas the last year or so, I'd say I've made particular gains by just training in a um, more of a powerlifting way. Um, so when I say powerlifting way, so I've dropped the reps down where I was hitting sort of 12 to 15 reps. I really stopped making gains probably about, well, for about a year, a year ago. So between two, two years and one year ago, I just made no gains whatsoever in terms of strength, size, anything. So the way I'm now training is trying to stay in that four to six rep range and trying to train more like a power lifter. So, sorry about the noise in the background. So, I'm trying to do, hit the compound, main compound movements. So obviously squats, deadlifts, uh, bench press, and uh, sometimes military press. We're really trying to make sure that I'm hitting the compound movements. So my goal for today is to get in the gym and um, basically see where I'm at. Um, so I want to see where my benchmark is for the moment. I've got a target for myself. Um, by the end of this year to hit, hit 1,200 pounds, which is about 545 kilos for the combined one rep max of all three exercises. Um, where I'm currently at, I'm at 480 kilos, I believe, uh, which is around about 1,060 pounds, something like that. So, which I'm fairly pleased about because it's the first time I've really tried, the last year or so has been the first time I've actually tried to train more like a uh, power lifter. So I feel like I'm making fairly decent progress. However, I've got a long way to go still to reach that 1200. It's going to be very difficult to put another sort of 65 kilos onto my squat deadlift and um, bench press combination. But that's where I'm at. That's what I want to try and do. That's my goals for the year. Um, so I'll pick up with you guys in the gym, but I just wanted to let you know, that's, what I, that's my goal for the workout. I'm going to hit legs afterwards with a little bit more volume and try and burn out um, as much as possible. So I'll see you guys in the gym. Right, so I've just hit squats, um, just warmed up. So I've just done uh, 10 reps on 60, uh, six on 100, two on 120, and now 140 is actually my personal best. So that's what I'm going for, just to try and match that. Uh, I'm gonna go for 140 you see on here, 140 to kick off with, see how that goes. Maybe we'll push it slightly more if I feel really comfortable. Right, 
so I feel like that was actually fairly comfortable. So I'm going to go for 150 now, um, which I've never actually even attempted. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, we'll find out. To bench press now, so I'm just giving my uh, legs a quick break from the squat. All time PR of 150 kilos, I think that's 360 in pounds. Really chuffed. So, moving on to um, uh, bench press. So, I hit deadlift after this. Uh, I'm going for, you can see on the bar there, three plates, 315 pounds, 140 kilos. This will be a joint PR. So, I've done this a couple of times before now. I'm hoping to hit 150. Uh, let's see how it goes. So, one fifth of 40 felt very, very comfortable. Um, a little bit of a grind, but it felt fairly comfortable. So, gonna go for 150 now. Gonna have to try and find a squatter. Let's see, yeah, yeah. It's 150 on the bar, there's actually five kilos on either side. So I'm gonna try, try and find a squatter because I don't know how this is gonna end. Um, see you on the other side. So we didn't quite make the 150 on the bench press. Slightly frustrated because the guy that was spotting me um, helped me just a little bit earlier than I'd like him to. Felt like if I'd had a bit more time, I might have got that bar up. But any, in any case, it's going to be a real grind. Um, I like, generally, is, uh, if someone's spotting me, and I like to think the bar's starting to go back down before they help me up. But um, in any case, I'm not. I think 150 is probably slightly out of my reach. But 140 feels fairly comfortable now, so I think 150 is um, within my remit. Hopefully, in the near future. So. We're on to deadlifts now, so I'm going for 200 kilos, see down here, uh, 200 kilos on the bar. Um, this would be a joint PR again for me, I've just hit 190, felt fairly comfortable, so we'll see how this one goes. Dead chuff, just hit 200 kg. Um, so 450 pounds, 440, 450 pounds, something like that. So we're going to go for 210, which would again be an all-time PR. Never even attempted 210 before. Uh, let's see how it goes. Just doing a bit of volume now. So I'm pretty pleased. I hit one PR on the squat, um, 150, deadlift still at 200, and bench press still at um, 140. Which is fine, I put another 10 kilos on, so I'm only 50, 50, 55 kilos away now from where I want to be at the end of the year. So, pretty successful session. So, I just want to hit some volume now in my legs, um, have a proper full out leg day. Um, you get a lot of benefits from doing one reps, and it builds a lot of strength. However, to actually see progression in your deadlift, squat, bench press, all the compound exercises, you need to go probably near 80 to 90% of your one rep max and work it for a few more reps. And um, that's where we're going to see the biggest improvements in a, in a one rep. Rose, go for me. You got me feeling 
Right guys, so I'm back in the flat and I'm pretty pretty happy with that uh, that gym session actually. So obviously I put 10 kilos on my squat, tied my personal best on both the bench press and the deadlift. So yeah, I mean it was a, pre it was a pretty damn good session. I mean for me at this point, you know, um, progression is going to be very, very slow for someone who's been training for five or six years now. You know, in your first year you can probably gain significant strength and probably 30 pounds of muscle in your first year, you know, if you're training consistently. Um, second year maybe 10 pounds, third year maybe five, and then after that it really is like one to two pounds per year of muscle mass that you can potentially gain and like very, very small strength gains. So that's, you know, that's what I love about it. It's all about the small progressions and that's why you've got to really embrace it when you hit a, a personal best um, and enjoy that achievement. So um, I've uh, just watched a couple of videos back as well and um, this is why I always encourage everybody to film themselves now and again, regardless of whether you're going to put it on YouTube or whatever. But you're always good to check your, your form. You know, I mean, I was looking at myself in the mirror and thought, yeah, my form looks pretty good. However, when I've got this, you know, I've got this film of myself from the side or slightly behind, I can actually see that when I was squatting and deadlifting, especially on the deadlift, my back was very rounded. So it just indicates to me that I need to work on my lower back strength. You know, my legs were shooting um, way before my back was starting to straighten up. So then, you know, I've got the weight probably, you know, a couple of inches off the ground and then it's all through my back to move it from there. So it's not ideal. Obviously your legs and your back should be going at the same time. So that's something I need to work on is just my lower back strength. So things like good mornings, etc., will be really, really good for that. So if you're still watching at this point, then thank you very much. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. So if you can comment, like, subscribe to my channel, I'd love it, it'd be fantastic, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, but I'd love to get your feedback. What you know, what did you like, what didn't you like, what would you like to see more of next time, less of, etc. Um, and I'll take it into consideration when I'm making my uh, future videos. So thank you and I'll see you all next time.